Stop. Centered. Speech off. Hi guys, it's Beyond Life with Kelly. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. This is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me video. So if you love these videos, leave it in the comments and let's do it. How are you guys feeling today? This is my hair after I literally haven't truly gone through my hair and like rehydrated my curls in days. So since Friday probably, I'll put oil on my hair, but there's a difference between just putting some oil and hurrying up and getting out the door versus actually sectioning your hair so that's what i'm getting ready to get into guys sorry my clothes might look crazy i don't know how much of you can see me how much of me you can see but um what am i doing so i'm going to show you guys the products that i'm using first before i start chit chatting with you all and then um just go right in this is my natural hair and I haven't recolored my hair since last week I did the rinse um, and I've shown you guys before the rinse that I use and I haven't done a second application. I wish I did um, so I could give you guys my final say on it. It's looking like I'm going to have to move on to another rinse. Um, because it's not knocking out the gray across, around my hairline. But I'm kind of thinking that I want to do a dark, like an espresso, which would be like a coffee bean. So it's like a super rich brown. Uh, I think that would be cute for me. Since like my hair is black, I feel like this brown it kind of does like a intense ombre like you won't probably be able to tell unless like when I'm in the sun then you could see like ooh. so I'm thinking about that comment down below if you all have a suggestion on a hair color I could try um I really like the product that I was using because it's already ready you simply just smooth it into your hair like a conditioner and just wait 25 minutes and then rinse you wash it out and you're done so i love that um it's just super easy application i got it from sally's i've been getting it for quite a few years but after i try this next round if it doesn't take i'm gonna have to move to something else i'm probably gonna try a l'oreal hair color and um, if that doesn't work, I'm just going to go to professionals and let them do it um, because Ulta does good um, and I might not like too much anything else they do, but when it comes to coloring your hair, they get the job done. And you guys know my birthday's coming, so thou shalt not have gray any day of the week, but definitely not on thou birthday okay today is charles birthday guys send him tots tons of but puppy love send it send it i put up a shorts video this morning of us perusing into the kitchen <laughs> he knows it's his birthday guys he's 12 i've had him since he was three months and we celebrate every year. He usually gets a little puppy cake. Actually, if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll see a video of last year or um, of us celebrating his birthday. Him and Lola, he had a little um, puppy cake. And then Lola had a little uh, puppy cupcake because she's so little. And it was really cute, guys. So, yeah, today's his birthday. But this is my hair. I've really been enjoying it, guys. I've really been enjoying the carefreeness of just keeping it curled. And you will not believe the products that I found in TJ Maxx. Okay, first, before I get deep off into this, let me get this color because I'm good for telling you guys about something and saying I'm going to show it to you and then I forget. Here's the color. 
if you want like details and stuff like that i have plenty of videos where i show you guys how i color my hair i also have a video on hair products that i use and this is in there um it gives you the price because i really don't remember they have this on sale quite a bit though like buy two get one free or something let me not say quite a bit because i i caught that sale one time so if you follow sally's um ads or subscribe to get text alerts about their sales then you know you'll you'll get it so this is the one that i use i think this one is called midnight black you know clairol semi-permanent rinse and so yeah this is it i pr really like it it has the pointer top all you do is twist and apply and smooth it in i get like one of those small combs let me see if I can find a small comb to demonstrate. I get one of those small tooth combs and just push it in. And then I just wait. This last time I left it in my hair for sure for like 50 minutes. And it, I think it says on there 35. And like I said, I get considerable amount of gray in the middle. So it knocked out the middle grays but this hairline like last time remember we were going to war and i had dyed it three times and then i finally just ended up going in and getting it done so no i can't find the hair comb right now to show you all but anyway so this is the hair color that i will be trying again in the morning i will be trying it again and I will let you all know, I'm going to put it on these edges again and see if it's gone. And if it's not, then it's over. It's going to be over with because I'm going to go on and um, mm, let's not say tomorrow because right now I'm hydrate, rehydrating my hair with you all. So I don't want to get up in the morning and rinse everything out. So let's just say by Thursday. Yeah, today's Monday. So Thursday, I'll reapply the color and um, do a co-wash. And what I'll do, I'll do a video for that. So I'll do a video reapplying the color. I'll tell you guys how long I waited. I'll rinse it out. I'll show you guys what it's looking like. And then I'll go into styling and um, moisturizing my hair. I'll do that whole routine with y'all and then show you what it ends up looking like once it's completely dry and everything. I was kind of considering doing a, um, I forget the exact term, but basically where you put the blow dryer cap on and you let it dry that way versus um, just letting it air dry. I was thinking about it just because it's kind of like a hot oil treatment and I haven't done that in a long time. And I was thinking that would be really good for me. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know because I really love just being carefree and just running out the door and letting everything air dry. So to be continued on that, guys let's talk about my shorts videos so my shorts are clips of the full videos like right now i have quite a few shorts clips from day nine pilates teacher training which was this past saturday and i posted the actual full length video so just go up to the tabs at the top of this video and then you can click on video and it shows right now I have 1.5 thousand so that's 1,500 um, videos available and that's a mix of videos and shorts and then it shows like where how many subscribers I have and all that so you can just click on the videos tab and then you'll see where it says day nine Pilates teacher training all about the exo chair if you watch that whole thing then you'll have the context you're looking for to watch the shorts video or understand what is this woman talking about unicorn poop so i do that um to you know spark interest to go over to watch the full videos 
and then I do it too because it's funny. These are clips that are funny for me. Now let me turn it around for the back for you guys to see what my hair is looking like. So back here, it's looking like this. So this is my hair. It's super crinkly. It reminds me of the um it reminds me of that iron that we used to use a crimping iron or they used to call this waterfalls when they used to do like a um, finger wave and then they would have this like crimped spot in the front and then it would like trickle down so all right let's get into these products before I forget to tell you guys what products I'm using and what I'm about to do okay so I wanted to try these products for a while before I even got on here chit-chatting with you guys about them because I wanted to really have an experience. So I've been using these products for about a week, um, pretty much every day or every other day. Um, so this is the Aunt Jackie's um, Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner. It was only $5.99 at Target. I highly recommend this product. Um, and it is really hydrating and moisturizing like it advertises on here. It comes off very much more on the liquid side than the creamy side, um, but it does have a consistency. So it's not like water, okay? There is a thickness to it. Um, it's just not, it's definitely not thicker than a lotion, if that makes sense. It, it's like as thick as a lotion, but more on the watery side. So I guess that's what, because of the moisturizing, hydrating side of it. I feel like there's a gel-like fluid in here. Um, and so, but it's really good. I like it for a daily product to use that if you want to have a sheen and you want your hair to stay soft. Because like out here in Georgia, it's extremely drying here. The water is very hard. Um, so I need something to keep my hair coated, like to seal things in and to keep it soft. Even right now, it's soft, but I've used more than just this. And I don't use um, just one product in a day or in a styling. I don't. And, um, and that's just that. I never use one and I don't. And I'm not light-handed. I'm heavy-handed on every product so um that this is my perspective from a heavy-handed point of view if you're a person that's going to try to use a dime size amount or quarter size amount or 50 cent amount piece amount for your whole head um then you might have to reconsider what i'm saying because i don't have that experience and that doesn't work for me so you really do have to pay attention to what kind of hair you have. If you have fine hair, then less might be good for you and lighter might be good for you. Like you may want to still use a cream just to open your hair up um, to absorbing the oils that you want to use. But, but be really conscious of what kind of cream. So then you would probably cut back. You probably use this, but like a dime nickel amount, nickel size amount and slick that through your whole head and then probably come back through with you know a quarter size amount of oil and that's probably will do it for you just depends some people need to hydrate their hair at night and then wrap it up use like rollers um these flexi rods and then put you know your hair up and then come back to it in the morning or give your hair time for the product to penetrate the follicles and you know absorb and then go into styling with like a gel or a jam in the morning i don't know but think about that pay attention because the product is not always the product problem so pay attention to how your hair responds and then proceed accordingly because these instructions are like general just to give you a start but they're not it doesn't apply to all you have to like gauge it you know what i mean i start off by feeling a product and then i'll just start slowly putting it in my hair and brush it and 
go from there and I'll see how my hair is doing with it. And then that's how I know how much I need or if I need to put mix other things with it and then come back to it later to see how my hair truly responded because some stuff will just lay on top of my head over top some stuff will seem like it didn't do anything and then I'll come back 30 minutes later and it's absorbed in and it's so nice so okay enough about that this is on Jackie's I highly recommend it I say get your hands on this I got mine from Target, $5.99. It's a no-brainer. This is definitely a repurchase. It will be here forever. It will. It's a great... If you were out of town, you had lost all your hair products, forgot them or whatever, and you had to run to the store and just get like one thing, I would say get this and olive oil. Yep. And you'll be good to go. Your hair will be looking real nice. It'll be hydrated and you won't have to worry about um you know styling and keeping it together for the rest of your trip i'm kind of lost as to where you guys are right now that's the only thing that's a concern of mine oh okay here you guys are all right so let's keep going all right so the next thing I wanted to show you guys really quickly, I'm just getting the bottles out the way really quickly. Um, I was in my TJ Maxx and there were so many good hair products in there. I didn't know what to do. I was like in hair product heaven and it was so, the products were so affordable compared to Ulta or online, depending on where you are. Um, because if you're like me, lots of hair, thick hair, and you're wearing it natural even if you're not if you're wearing it straight you're going through bottles of product and you know you get a small bottle like this and spend twenty dollars and you keep spending and then you got to get another product and another product and next thing you know it's a hundred dollars later and then you got to go buy that again in two weeks three weeks you know so if you could go on tj maxx and get it for 5.99 you're like oh my god Anyway, so this is by Main Choice. Anybody that's familiar with Main Choice, you guys already know we find this at Sally's. And this is a black-owned hair product based out of Houston, Texas. Um, super excited. It's a great product. It works. That's what I'm excited about, that it works. Um, this is a, their Recovery Leave-In Conditioner Co-Wash Detangler. Um, I love that it does all that. So... The thing about it for me, this is not exclusive to wash day. This is going to work for me because I do these wash and goes and I'm going, I go into hydration like every third day. So I'm going to use this because this is what's going to help me essentially operate as though I'm washing, but I'm not. I'm just rehydrating my curls, separating my curls, um, defining my ringlets again, right? So I'm just giving life to the style. So for this to be a co-wash detangler and a leave-in conditioner, and it's a recovery product, so that means it's repairing your hair as well, especially for those of us who have heat damage and whatever else. Um, you may have had split ends because you let your hair get too dry. Maybe you didn't, you know, come back to it for five days, seven days. So I haven't tried this. I'm just excited about the name, what it's supposed to do, the potential of it. Um, but we will be trying this together today in a few minutes. And, um, I believe this was $7.00. Yeah, so this is a pretty good size bottle for seven bucks. This will last me for a while. I've used that on Jackie's several times, like at least seven times, and is nowhere near empty. And so I'll that bottle will last me for a month for sure. Um, so this will do probably two months because I'm only going to use this twice a week. And then, um, even though I'm heavy-handed with it, I'm still not going to be using that much. So, this will probably last me two months using it twice a week. And then, um, 
we'll just go from there but yeah this was seven at tj maxx and i'm going to be using that with y'all in a few seconds all right the next thing that i want to show you all um is I should show y'all my vitamins because I take two of these every day. Simple Truth um, multivitamins. These are for women. They have the mineral-based ones and then they have the everyday ones. So I say try both. All right. The next product that I have here is this Maui Curl Creator. Um, and the thing that's really juicy about this. Let me see something. I had a Maui conditioner and then I had this main choice. Okay, this Maui conditioner is only $4.99. And it was really cheap to begin with. Like, I think this was $7.99 at the or no more than 10 bucks to begin with. And it's um it was $4.99 in TJ Maxx. I think this one might be the one that says pink lemonade and coconut, but I'm not sure. I'm just showing you guys the package here. And you could look it up but this is really there this is like water like pouring oil from the bottle that's what the consistency is of this i wish i could show it to y'all for real for real not sure i'm not i'm not i don't feel comfortable to tilt it in any way because I'm, even though i'm using this every day it's still full to the top so um i really like this for an everyday product i really really do it is a curl creator so it's going to help you define your curls find them you know as you can see i haven't done anything with my hair like i said since friday so we're gonna find these curls and get them back on point and we're gonna use this today okay so that's by maui m-a-u-i and that was at your TJ Maxx. Okay, the last product we're using today, because I can't seem to put, get my hands on another product I have by Main Choice, is this um, Curl Creator as well. This one might be the one that says Pink Lemonade and Coconut, I'm not sure. Definitely check. I'll leave it in the comments. Y'all remind me to tell you guys which one had what. This one was originally $16.99, and I got it um, for, I think she told me $9.99. I got this for $9.99 at a TJ Maxx, and it's by Main Choice again, and this was originally $16.99. And, okay, so this one has a much thicker, let me see if I can try to show y'all this one. This one doesn't pour. Hopefully, perfectly, y'all can see that. I've used quite a bit. Now, this is a product that I would have to replace probably every three weeks, honestly. Two to three weeks, I would probably have to get another one of these. So, let's get into it, guys. So, what is that? That's one, two, three, four products that I'm using with you guys today. It'll end up being a fifth product because um, I always use my Blue Magic for my edges every time. So that's just that on that. Okay, guys. So the first thing that I want to do is try this Recovery Co-Wash Detangling Leave-In Conditioner product by Main Choice. I want to use this one first, even though... Let's say if I had already used this before and I had the experience of just filling it and seeing what it does without anything else, then I wouldn't use this first. But because I have no idea, then I'm going to use it first. What I would use first, honestly, is the Aunt Jackie's because it's more water-like. Um, and this is super thick. I can just feel it. Like, it's not moving. It's very thick. Um, and so I would use that and I would use the Maui curl creator, um, before I put this cream in my hair because I would want some hydration going on and, um, I would want some time like finger detangling before I came in with this cream. 
but let's just see what happens because like i said i haven't used this and let's say if it has a um i already took it off great sometimes these products have a seal on them so okay really quickly i forgot to tell y'all i don't have on earrings today because i'm using all these products and i don't want them getting in my earrings and um a pair of my cuff earrings by coach that have the cc's all over embossed signature um one of the c's is kind of lifting and so now i'm realizing i just need to put my earrings on after um, my products have dried in my hair um so i don't have an issue with my jewelry so no earrings on i do have on these shades um by fantas eyes so it, and that is exactly what it is fantas eyes e-y-e-s fantas eyes it sounds like fantas eyes but it's fantas eyes e-y-e-s so these are purple lenses they have the ombre go from dark to light on the lens and then it's debatable on the frame um some people say the frames are black some people say the frames are dark brown um you let me know what you can tell what are you seeing who knows but let me know if y'all like them what you guys think um i'm always switching it up guys i thought i was wearing some jessica simpson shades those pink those black to pink um ombre shades that i've been loving they give me that barbie feel and they had the black and gold um frame but well, those were not even jessica simpson's and the way that i ended up finding out is because i was going through some of the shades that i haven't worn over here because i pick up shades from everywhere and um one of them that i had that i hadn't worn had this same emblem on the sides so i'm like oh i already had some jessica simpson shades over here i wonder if they're like the same color or similar design and they are a similar design but not a same color so no they're not jessica simpson's at all i don't like when people are helping me at the store and they tell me something is a certain brand and it's and they're just making it up like why lie i don't know guys people do that they have a hard time reading it's a lot more people in the world that's illiterate than you guys than we realize just because they got a job that does not mean they can read so anyway whatever so i'm putting some of this in my hair now i will say it is doing a great job of hydration um see i have some tangles here like this piece right here i'm probably going to work through this with the oil and just leave it alone with this um leave-in i don't see myself matter of fact that's what I will do. Let me open up the Curl Creator Oil by Maui. Let me go on and open that up. And. Work through that. Because that is a large patch of hair. That is a large patch of hair that's dry and tangled right there. And let's see. If I end up getting through there. I'm really big about using a comb still and like my number one approach to creating curls in my head is water still like I've watched a lot of the glam twins videos over the years showing us how to um, get our curls and recover from heat damage and all that and I'll still just hurry up and run to the water like i don't they're really good about finger raking their hair and all that see i just broke a good long strand of hair this is a long strand of hair and i just broke it guys because i'm just not good for this whole let's finger rake our hair another thing with me 
it seems like the more that I do it, the straighter my hair gets. So then I don't get a chance to do the whole wash and go. Some of us, we just have to jump in the shower to have wash and go. We have to. It's not going to do it any other way. Okay, guys. So let me keep putting this oil in my hair. Who's watching, um, who is watching Sisters With Me? I just caught up on episode 10. I missed it on Wednesday. I was waiting for it and then forgot it. I remembered on Monday, like, ooh, okay, Wednesday, I'm gonna watch TV. And then the next thing I know, here was Sunday night. I was like, oh, I forgot to watch Sisters. Who is watching it? Guys, I am so sick and tired of, um, Karen. I don't know what to do with myself. Her existence on the show is nerve wracking for me. I just, her role is just so upsetting. I'm tired of her. And I think that Aaron's about to come across those pregnancy results and find out that he really is the father. Because I definitely believe she's a liar. I don't believe Zach is the father at all. And, um, and that's just that. I think she's just hanging on by dear. And I don't get why she doesn't want to just move on with the man that loves her. Aaron really wants to be with her. And she just goes out of her way not to do it and like he's sloppy seconds i'm like girl i don't know i see women do it all the time though they don't want to love the man that loves them going after somebody that's or they just don't they don't have nobody else but they got the nerve to put down the person that wants them but anyway guys so guys i I was really excited to find out that Jodeci is on tour. Let me bring this up really quick. And I watched a bunch of the Summer Block Party videos on YouTube. Guys, I was so hyped. He's, they're going to be here in Atlanta August 18th. Down the street. I actually am like a hop, skip, and jump from Chastain Park. Where the Summer Block Party is going to be SWV them i imagine it's going to be somebody else besides drew hill because drew hill was literally just here three weeks ago maybe not maybe it'll be drew hill again which they're getting clown a lot guys people are really disappointed with them so i hope they figure something out maybe they were just warming up testing it out and trying to figure out what they was really gonna do because a lot of artists do that guys they'll do a pop-up concert a listening party or whatever to get feedback before they actually release the real project or they really go on tour to find out the crowd response which is a great idea it sucks for the people that are getting tested you know they don't know that they're really expecting something good and, but anyway yeah that's what's going on guys Beyonce is on tour I see a lot of that popping up all over the place Talking about Blue Ivy, their daughter, how good she's doing performing with her, blah, 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 blah. I already went to Beyonce's concerts when I really was into her years ago, but I never went with my daughter, and I was thinking about doing that with her. I thought that would be fun to just do that with her one time. So, who knows? We'll see what happens to be continued. Of course, I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, because I really don't know where, if I go to the Beyonce concert, where I would do it. Because she's going to be in Miami. She's going to be in Tampa. She, you know, of course, if I get an opportunity to go to the beach, then I'm going to the beach. So, um, but she'll be here in Atlanta for four days. I'm still using this Maui Curl Creator. Um, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put 
Aunt Jackie's in my hair next because I want these ends. My ends always end up being straight and I want them to curl up. So, gotta get more product involved. It used to be this product called Live L-I-V. It was in a white jar with red kind of like design or background. And that used to be good at, if you wanted to wear that wet curly look or had that slick ponytail, that was a good product to use. So, back to sisters. So, it's like, if you watched it from the beginning, then you know Andy was in love with this married man. She didn't know at the beginning he ended up leaving his wife, which he always said from the beginning that they were getting a divorce anyway. So, it wasn't like she was breaking up a family I guess, I don't know. The wife, you know, had a different opinion about it. But her friends, you know, they don't like Gary for her. They tolerate her talking about it because that's what friends do. We tolerate a lot of stuff. So, but she, I don't know. I don't know if she's getting tired of Gary or not. But you know he's real controlling and obsessive and but he's real tit for tat and i just was like the the levels he goes to trying to keep tabs on her and trying to i i really don't get it like at one point he was trying to marry her and give her the wedding of her you know spontaneous dreams and you know, then he bought her this million dollar condo. And, you know, the list goes on and on and on. So, I I can't call it. I don't know what the heck they're doing. I just know it's annoying. Danny, her stuff is annoying. Um, She's in love with this guy. One minute, she don't want him. She's you know, having random sex with this one, that one, she's always getting high. She's the friend that was overweight, so men overlooked her, used her, and then she lost all this weight. Now she just does whatever she wants sexually and finds herself in a lot of trouble a lot of times. You know, now she got this guy that she really does want to be with, but she's scared and reckless and... I don't know. I don't pay her much mind. I find her storyline very aggravating. Um, but I have a commitment issue. Like I started watching this, so now it's like I need to get see it come to somewhat of a good end before I can just stop watching. So, you know, I would like to see Danny marry her guy and be happy and be normal and calm all that mess down i would like to see andy you know be in a healthy relationship and if that's gary you know they just go on and agree to be together and stop all the extra you know i'd like to see her be married to karen i really just want them to write her off the show her write her whole storyline out of the show um it's just perpetuating really bad her whole storyline is just so negative and obsessive and deranged and whew, pathetic it's just pathetic and i'm like no it's real cuckoo for cocoa puffs it's frustrating guys i don't like it so I would like them to just let her have her baby and let that be the end of her. Write her right on off the show and that's it. Because she's almost, she's borderline, you know, schizo. So, anyway guys, um, let me see. Let's see here. Okay, so... 
this right here, you see how I'm pretty much, I'm detangling to a degree, but it's making my hair like wilder. And that's okay, but not for real, for real, no. Guys, let me see something. Cause see, that's a tangle right there. We'll see how long I do this hairstyle. Because honestly, like all this, I don't really like doing this much work for my hair. I like to just be done in like three minutes. <laughs> That's what I like to do, guys. I like to be done in like three minutes. All this separating and going through it strand for strand. Like, I love watching the Glam Twins videos. So they do all that. And I'm like, go ahead. And now they speed everything up like they used to when they first started. They used to do, like, the whole thing with you. And I used to get into it like, ooh, that's cool. I used to try to... I watched them for motivation to do my hair. Like, okay. Sometimes it works, but most of the time it didn't. But... Mm -mm. Now I just watch them purely for entertainment. And just to find out what are they using now. I like when they review products because we pretty much have the same hair texture. So it gets me out of trying stuff. Wasting time and money. Guys, because I used to have so much. Like y'all think the, what I have up here now is a lot. I used to have way more. I had a whole closet for hair products. I used to be like, wow, like 90% of it did not work. So I was over it. I was like, oh, this mess. You love what it says. Like, you love the way it smells. You love what it says it's going to do and all that. But the reality of it, it's not doing all that. Now. Okay, so. Um. Who else? Sabrina, her storyline is baffling. You know, she's the odd bank teller friend that's kind of just there for everybody and finds herself in troubles of other people's trouble. Um, I would love if she got with the African prince guy and married him and lived her life and stay, you know, out the way. I would love for them to give her more of a f full, fulfilled life. Um, because Calvin is not it. He's clutching at straws as far as trying to be with her. He doesn't have himself together. You know, he's a friend. He's like another girlfriend. But he's trying to be, you know, the man. And he's not. He lives with a whole other man. And. Who knows what he really does for a living. I don't know. You know, but whatever he does, it's not enough to help him take care of himself and be on his own and have a family or whatever. So, mm -mm. Maurice is hilarious. If y'all watch the show, Maurice is hilarious. Um, I really do believe in Zach and Fatima. I love how they get along. I love um, that they have so much in common and I love that they're getting healthy together. They tell each other the truth. They hold each other accountable. They respect each other. You know, they're passionate. All that. Um, but I do want them to get some control over their anger and stuff. Um, and I want them to stop making decisions that each other don't, don't value. So, like they showed in the clip for the show to come up, the next episode, Zach is basically telling Pam if Karen needs any more money to just give him a call. And he just told Fatima he wasn't going to give her any more money. Like, this was going to be the last contact unless he finds out the baby is his. I personally feel like 
Karen is so desperate and conniving that if she can find a way to alter the results and give him some fake results that this baby is his, um, she will do it. Because she's just so delusional and desperate for a man that doesn't want her. Now, I've been putting in this Curl Creator by Maui. By the way, you guys know I absolutely love Hawaii. Only been one time. I've been planning every single year to go back. And things have happened and I haven't been able to go. And this year, earlier this year, Southwest awarded me a free companion ticket to go between August 15th and September 30th, anywhere I want to go. Just so it's a buy one, get one free. And of course, I looked at going to Hawaii. Mind you, the trip to Hawaii is great. It's the getting back that is going to take two days if I flew Southwest, um, which is like, okay, well, evidently I must need to make it where I go somewhere that I want to be for an overnight and get up and then fly and get home. So who knows to be continued. Um, I really want to though. I've been promising my daughter since she was six that she was, I was going to take her to Hawaii. So me getting this Maui product feels like an, a confirmation feels like it something miraculously is gonna happen guys if i go to hawaii i'm gonna make that like a 20 part vlog and prayerfully i've got my thousand subscribers by that point because then i will go live with y'all every day i will do lives vlogs of course shorts videos and everything because I would want y'all to feel like y'all are with me right then and there while it's happening. So. I wish there was such thing as a curl brush. So like what you do is you put these products in your hair and then you brush them through and it brings the ringlets out. That would be so great. A curl creator. Uh, an actual brush though. I would be thrilled about it okay so i put the leave-in in let me look for this bottle one more time because my hands are getting slippery and this is a product that is really really thick and you have to do all that stuff i just did so i'm gonna put a little bit more of this in my hair dang i hope i don't put it on my glasses but I will say it smells pretty good. Let me see. Okay, so here's what my hair is looking like so far. Let me show you guys. I really liked how it felt when I was rubbing it. Let me show y'all the back of my hair when I pick it up. So here's the back of my hair. I like the way it feels. Okay. And then here it is when I bring it down. I like that. Guys, it's storming here at the clear blue sky. It's 91 degrees. And for the last couple of days, it has stormed really hard like sky crackling open okay so now i'm putting this aunt jackie's in my hair i know y'all are like you got to put some more stuff yes guys this is the one though that i'm really this is for hydration and moisturizing because believe it or not my hair is drying out it's it's only staying quenched and that's what this john jackie's is called quench um moisturizing hydrating leave-in conditioner but believe it or not my hair is sucking all this up that's why i rather just hop in the shower and wet my hair when i'm on these days when i'm going from zero from ground zero 
is even my ends, they're very dry. 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 Okay, so I just put that in. Really doesn't, let me see if I have it. Here it is. I'm gonna put a little bit more. It pours out, but it's not, like I said, it has a thickness to it. It's not one of these products that you're like, oh, it doesn't have nothing. Yes, it does. But it's not quite a jelly, but it's almost there. If that gives you an idea on the consistency. Okay. So guys, I've been going to Chop, C-H-O-P-T. -P. Um, it's pretty, that's been around and I just am now going. I'm gonna say one reason is because I was pretty much over salads and I eat salads. Anybody that knows me, anybody that goes to eat with me, you know I order salad and soup with everything. So the idea of going somewhere that specifically sells salad is not like a big deal. Um, because that's a part of my everyday norm so i had to get in the mood for that i've been hearing about this place called kava i don't know if it's c-a-v-a c-a-b-a -A, but they have a super long line all the time comment down below if you're a kava person or chop person i will tell you guys i've been eating those brownies they give you because i've been ordering the kids size salad because it's so big and the brownie, it almost ruins the salad because it's really too sweet. Unless you're craving something. Like if you're craving chocolatey something, then it's going to be fine. But I wouldn't say eat that regularly. I would say skip it. Because the salad is enough. It's satisfying. And I get the sesame ginger. Um, somebody was asking me. Like, do I try any of the other dressings? I don't because the rest of them have soy and the sesame ginger is the only one that they make in-house and it's without soy. So, um, I just get that one and it's great. And, um, oh, that feels good. So, what else is going on? Um... And then the salad that I eat is not a pre-made, like it's not on the menu to choose. I just pick the kids meal. It comes, the kids salad comes with four toppings. Um, but I think I put nine toppings on my salad. So they do charge you. So if you stuck with four toppings, plus your salad, I mean, plus your lettuce base, it's $6 and 53 cents and you get a choice of snacks and they have like an apple chips, like different stuff. You don't have to get the brownie. Um, but the drink, you do have to pay for that. That's separate. So if you got a kid's salad with your snack and a drink, it's like a little more than 12. If you get my exact salad and just the um, snack, it's nine. It's like around $9 for my exact salad. And I usually add the distilled water and it'll be like 11 or something, 12. So... Okay, guys, I'm finished with the Aunt Jackie's. It does smell good. And ooh, that feels good. Y'all should pull your hair at the root sometimes. Feels good, guys. Your hair, your scalp needs stimulation as well. Okay. All right, so I put that in there. I'm finished with it for now. Let me see. I think this is the wrong bottle. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm still going to come back in and put a little bit more of this Curl Creator by um, Maui in my head just because I love the way it feels. And to me, it's like essential. I think it seals in the other products. So that's that this is a super long video longer than I expected guys so day 10 was Sunday but I already completed day 10 
um, in June. I just wasn't able to finish that weekend because that was the same weekend I was doing the law school admissions test, um, which was an epic failure. And I'm going to be uploading my vlog. So let's talk about that. I am behind about six weeks of vlogs. Why? Because I ran out of space and then I got the things to create more space and that didn't work out like I thought it was. And so I just started creating all the movies and they're in queue to be transferred and uploaded, but they're not. So this week, um, as in tomorrow and later today, I will be uploading the last vlogs of June and the beginnings of July. So prayerfully, by the end of this week, um, I will have put out about five vlogs that are maybe 26 minutes to over an hour long. And then you guys will see everything that was going on in June and July. Um, that far and then I have to finish so while I'm uploading those vlogs for you guys then I will be creating the last few vlogs for the month of July um, because I have quite a bit of content for August already and it's only the seventh day August is actually a super busy m month for me and so um so I will have a lot of content for August and that's another reason why I'm making this week intentional about catching up on all my vlogs um, because August is probably going to have a good 15 vlogs by itself um, and I also have been trying to put out content like as soon as I could because I did know I was behind on vlogs. I've been supposed to do the swimwear try on for you guys. I'm praying I get to do it because the, the bottom line is last time when I did swimwear try on for you guys I was in my bedroom. This time when I do it because it's so many of them I wanted to either be on the beach poolside or poolside this time and um quite a few of my trips I haven't been able to get to them so I really been focusing on getting Pilates out the way so and quite a few of those destinations were supposed to be in my trainings were supposed to be in by the beach and like I was supposed to be at West Palm last month for I was supposed to have been in St. Pete. I was supposed to have been in Sarasota. Like, I had a lot of them lined up, but it didn't work out like that. So, that's the delay. But I can't let August go by because September is my birthday month. And I had planned on doing something big for Labor Day for you guys. Because I pretty much know um, we'll have met the 1K um, subscriber threshold. Uh, we'll have met it and I wanted to make the big announcement on who won the vacation, the weekend getaways, and, excuse me, things like that. So anyway, I'm just putting more of this curl creator. Now, I'm showing you guys what this looks like with my hair not being drenched. And I had this other product. I wonder if it's up here. Did I put it in my bag? I had this castor oil spray. But I use it more so like when I'm out and about. And let's say I'm out in the sun longer than I expected. Then I will spray that in my hair. Because I don't want it to get straw dry. Like where it feels like straw. So. But I'm showing you guys what this was looking like without my hair being drenched because I recommend your hair being drenched. My um, my hair is literally sucking up every bit of this oil. It might not look like it to you guys. It might look good, but it is sucking it up. Like back here is still wet, but in a minute it'll be dry. It might be looking good. Comment down below and tell me if you like it. 
tell me what you guys think all right so now the next thing i'm gonna do is use this main choice curl creator that is way thicker i had another main choice product in here but i think i got hijacked by my daughter honestly okay this is like if you guys remember what was let down here it is that's how thick this is i'll show it to you from the side and i'm using three fingers for this um but yeah if y'all remember let's jam this would be that product all day long to me i feel like this is more effective definitely once your hair has been drenched fresh out the shower and you have the ringlets already and then you just reinforce them with this product um because it has a gel effect it has a curl setting effect um because of how thick it is it does smell good and that's about it let me see guys yeah so that is my plans I plan on doing having some fun with y'all prayerfully I get to Chastain Park early and we could kind of walk around there and look around together because I've never gone to Chastain Park and I've never been to a concert there um I walked past it before because there's a um horse park right there um and my daughter's middle school was across the street from it but that's about it never been in there so prayerfully I'll make it early I definitely want to do an outfit of the night with you guys for that because I'm gonna get really fun I uh, might go Barbie for that. Who knows? But it's going to be cute and fun and playful and sexy. Let's not forget that part. Um, but so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking. So I used everybody growing up with me knows I used to sit on the radio all day or go wherever the radio guys were and to win all my tickets to go to the concerts. That hasn't changed. Last time Jodeci was in concert here that I knew about was in 2013 and I won tickets, it was October. And I won tickets to that concert. It was at the Fox Theater and it was with Guy. It was like a Guy friends and family tour thing. It was a tons of artists. And that was really disappointing. I will say that it was a really disappointing show. And, um, yeah, so uh, I'm really excited to see them back and healthy and doing their thing. I'm excited about it. So I'm looking forward to that. Like I said, to be continued about the Beyonce concert because she'll be in Atlanta four nights. I really wish I would have made it to the Janet Jackson concert. That's something that I really wish I would have did. She was here three nights and totally missed it. I didn't even know she was in concert. I was at Pilates and they were talking about it. And it looked like it was going to storm. It was just all kind of stuff going on. But I was like, what? So I actually would love to go to a Chris Brown concert, especially here in Atlanta. He brings the whole city out when he comes so who knows what to be continued guys to be continued let me see how it's going i'm putting this main choice i would love to have a stylist that i could have come to my house Every time I've gotten one or thought I had one, they do my hair like one time and they're gone. I think it's because it's kind of overwhelming. It's like, dang, doing her hair is like a four or five hour appointment. Especially because I want to do like, I would want a stylist since I'm doing natural hair. I would want them to come over here and take their time and go through my hair section for sex, like section like this like one section 
and work with this section until the ringlets came through. If that means you just gotta keep putting that product in there and just keep working with it until it curls up. That's what I would want. That takes like all day. Unless they have the product that I'm talking about, because I'm pretty sure it probably exists. This brush that I'm talking about that creates the curls, you just put the product in, and then you wand it through, and then it isolates the curls, and you just kind of stack the curls. That's what I want, guys. So, because I have like a bunch of bunchy spots in here that I just want to comb through it or brush through it these little bunchy knot spots but yeah so okay guys so guys believe it or not i'm taking the lsat again october 13th okay the device that they sent me that's one of the vlogs where you guys could see play for play and matter of fact that's all i'm gonna say i'm just gonna tell y'all that but it has definitely been a journey but i want to do it like i want to have the experience of taking the lsat so this has become like personal for me i didn't want to take it at all but now that I've tried to take it so many times and it's been such a barrier, now I'm determined to take it. Because I want the experience. I want to be able to say I'm visually impaired and I took the LSAT. And what the experience was like, I want to tell to you guys about it. Because that's a barrier mentally for people. They don't want, they can't, you know... Oh, I'm, I got visual impairment. Now I got to take this standardized test. This and that. I Then you read up on it and you see how many visually impaired people, how many of them had the hardest time ever taking it. Even taking the bar and they've had to sue. And blah, 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 blah. But, okay, I put this in my hair. I'm so cool. I just wear my hair like this on the pool. Well, I don't care. Especially depending on where I'm going. I don't even care. But I do. Like. If I was not on here with y'all. I would just leave it alone. And then drench my hair in water. For these ends. So they could curl up. And then I'd be done. I'd go out right outside. Let my hair air dry. Because it'll kind of crinkle on its own while it's drying. And as long as my ends were curled and not straight, I'm finished. I do want to try that. I don't how many of you guys are using the Patterns products by um, Tracy Ross, Tracy Ellis Ross. I personally want to try her brush. She has a paddle brush. And I'm interested in trying it. She also has an edge brush. That I'm interested in trying. Y'all been making this sun dried tomato pasta. And I've been making this chickpea elbow pasta. With sharp cheddar cheese. Ooh. Tastes so good. So 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 good. I had been on these um, nachos for a while. I had made them enchilada nachos. Last weekend or the weekend before. It was so so good. But I just kind of been getting to this place like, hmm, what's next? Like, I'm starting to get that mouth where I'm ready for something, like a new rotation. Because I've, I've eaten that all year. Like, for sure, for four months. Those have been my staple meals. Sun-dried tomato pasta. The chickpea and El Barillo elbow noodle. Sharp cheddar pasta. My pound of two two pounds two to three pounds of strawberries my pound and a half of blueberries my sun-dried tomato i mean my sugar bomb tomatoes those have been my hardcore meals and then i just recently got into eating honey nut cheerios and this mother's honey oat cereal i've been really enjoying that but i'm getting now like what's next i want something else 
I ordered some um, wild caught Pacific cod today, but I realized I don't have vegetables. So now I gotta go back on the ship app. Shout out to ship out ship and um, order a boatload of, I want some Brussels sprouts. I want some asparagus and I want to saute my Brussels sprouts. I want to bake me some fish. My mouth is ready for that. I'm, I'm feeling that so and I think I want to make me some type of sesame ginger like glaze or marinade for the cod I think and the Brussels sprouts honestly I think that would be so hard maybe some cabbage with that mm. so when it's hot I don't like cooking guys it's like minimal cooking as possible. And I just like more like pasta salads and lots of fruit and watermelon and things like that. Oh, guys, all y'all that be complaining. Well, first of all, shout out to the real men. Um, and I just want to tell y'all flowers are not for special occasions. Every day is a special occasion. And... How about these grocery stores? I said this before. Publix has roses and um, flower, floral bouquets on sale every day, just about. Um, they're pretty much like buy one, get one. Um, no more than like $11, whatever, after tax, $12. Um, I chit-chatted about that last time, about um, Coco Bango talking about pick up some flowers every day, bring them in the house. Keep a smile on your woman. Basically, pay attention so she can pay attention to you and get excited about you. And so, Kroger has it right now. If you were to blog on Kroger.com, they have roses every color starting as cheap as $3.99 for three roses and a floor. It's like really pretty in the packaging um, to a dozen for eight dollars and nineteen cents i'm talking about one dozen red one dozen pink yellow they have like every color lavender eight dollars and nineteen cents they have larger bouquets for 11. i mean the prices went all the way up to sixty dollars and it was so bomb i was like yes nobody has no excuses no more you go on a date bring some bring the three pack that's gonna make her smile i'm talking about bring it if that's y'all's first little meet and greet she looking good to you bring it bring the flowers guys take it to the next level it's 2023 get your mj on Stunt guys, I'm talking about this y'all second date. You want a third date? Bring those dozen out. Keep doing it. Level it up. Level it up. Get this woman hyped, bragging. Keep her hyped. I'm talking about even if she keeping it, even if make her go home and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He knows my name. <laughs> guys make her glow make her glow well everybody oh you going out with that dude again how you know because you glowing girl look at all these flowers everywhere guys eight dollars and 19 cents 3.99 go on handle it handle your business don't let your business handle you so these women, so you can spark creativity in us. Do it, guys. Do it. So sweet. So sweet. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, literally, I have put all these products in my hair, and I still feel like I need to pull more. Oh, before I wrap this thing up with a bow, let me go on and put my um let me see where I 
Let me go ahead on and put my products on my edges. So I'm going to go on and wash my hands real quick. Hold on. And get rid of some product buildup. And then I'm going to go on and put this on my edges. Guys, I've been waiting on Fatima to come back on. I mean, Fatima. The Zach and Fatima spinoff. I've been waiting on that to come back on because I really wanted to see what was going to happen with this stripper. You know, supposedly... He has a stripper ex fling thing that has his child, which I don't believe that either because you guys already know Gary, I mean, not Gary, what's his name, at the law firm that had it bad for Fatima and was mad she didn't want him, was trying to ruin her relationship with the dude thinking that she would want him then. So, I don't really trust that's really his child. In one in one regard, I do. But in another regard, I don't. So, I wanted to see. I've been waiting for that to come back on. I did see a commercial, though. when I was I think when I was watching episode... Somewhere between episode 6 and 9... There was a um, thing that said Fatima was coming up next. <sighs> guys, guys, guys. So, if all else fails, okay, and you're in my situation, you have a lot of hair, you just put a lot of products in your hair, you don't see the light of day. Like, you're like, okay, I did all that. And to you, the curls are not popping. If you have time... And you don't have anywhere to be. Hold on. Guys, let me see something. Find it. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm trying to find my oil. Anyway, if you have time and you don't have anywhere to be, then go on and get some hair oil. Let me try to find it. I got so many bottles over here. Let me see. And get some hair oil. Oh, well, I don't know where it is. Thank you, Lord, for putting my arm on it. Let me see. Um, oh, well. I'm going to use the Curl Creator this time. But I was trying to show you guys my olive oil. I always have a bottle of olive oil in here. And I use it because it's a great hydrator. And I probably knocked it down or something. It's a great hydrator. And when I need to style my hair and have it sealed and looking shiny and, and like I like, then um, that's what I use. But anyway, I'm going to use this Curl Creator, Maui Curl Creator, because it's wet enough. Um, to do you know what I need for this video but I will say if you have a bottle of olive oil then use that instead for this last thing I'm about to show you so if you don't feel like it's curly enough and you have some time if all else fails corn roll it make your hair super super wet I used to do this when I had pink oil moisturizer or if I was using like shea moisture had a smoothing souffle that had like a really thick wet product that I would just drench my hair in. And then you just go through here and you just corn roll it. And you corn roll it super tight so that it'll like the rolls will turn into waves. And when you take it down, it's like super lush. When you take it down. Like right now, I'm doing it like this because I'm not about to go in the roots. And let me see.
Guys, is it me or have y'all noticed like the commercials on YouTube, they're getting longer? Really, really long. Like they're not even commercials. These are whole other videos within a video calling it a commercial. Somebody tell me like, oh, you just need to upgrade to the program where you don't have to have any commercials. I'm like, ooh. And then there's commercials that I hate, like talking about diseases or hustles. Oh, I'm I'm making a million dollars a day, and you can make a million dollars a day too. All you have to do is click on this link and sign your life away, and then don't sleep for the next 72 hours and do two toe taps. And then after that, you'll wake up and there'll be a green frog in front of you and you jump three times like the frog. And then after you jump three times like the frog, ta-da, the money will appear in your bank account. Shut up. Y'all, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Anyway, so this is a demonstration, a quick one. So basically, you just braid your hair really tight, right? Like, if you like your roots thick, like I like mine thick, leave it like this. Don't bring it in all the way because then it'll start straightening. Especially if your hair is as long as mine, it'll straighten the roots. So then you won't get that thick vol volume, what's it called, voluminous. You get that thick voluminous look if you don't, if you just keep it like this, okay? And then what I try to do is like some use like a little roller and roll this in or wet it or dip it in water like get you a cup of water or when you're in the tub like because i would prefer you do this style before you take your bath and then while you're in the tub just wet it and it'll curl up and then pull it up as soon as you finish wetting you do the other side too and then let it curl up and then when you get out, just keep your hair up off of you. Like, you see, look, it's already crinkling, if you can tell. Because when you undo it, don't undo it like you want to straighten it. Undo it like you want to preserve the braid. Right? Because it's already crinkling. And I only did that for five minutes. Anyway, so then after you do that, right? And your curls are coming out. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Right? So after you get out the bathtub, the thing that I do, I bring my whole, all my hair up. I just go in and pull it up. And let me show y'all. Take this scrunchie. Just pull it up. And the glam twins call it a, a pineapple. When you put your hair up like this. Because they do a loose pineapple. They don't, like, t tie their hair to for sure tie it up for real. Because they don't want these curls up here pulled. Because it straightens. The longer your hair is, it's going to go straight. Because of the weight. So they just put the scrunchie around here loose like this. And then put their cap on over top. And go to bed. So if you have time and you're not going anywhere for some hours... You can do the same thing. Look, look at this huge something. Anyway, this is the way that I do it though to keep it off my neck and out the way. But you just leave it up like this and then just let it air dry. And then once it finishes air drying, then you can bring it down and wear your hair down if you want. Or you could go ahead on and grip it in a tighter ponytail. And then just keep working on the curls. And then by the time you get to wherever you're going, because I would have the windows down so that air could be hitting. Cause, um, I wouldn't say do air, like have the air blowing hard in the car because you don't want to get sick. But rather just the fresh air. And then boom, you are ready. You are ready to go. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed my chit chat. Get ready with me. I really haven't been talking about too much and I really think that the subjects I was supposed to be talking about I think I forgot them so just thank God I'll be doing another one on Thursday right because we're gonna see what happens with these grays we're gonna get rid of those hallelujah I think for sure I'm going espresso coffee bean coffee bean brown 
I'm pretty sure without a shadow of a doubt, that's what's about to go down on my edges. It's about to be a coffee bean brown and then the rest is just what it is. If I would, if I knew somebody that I really trusted to do my color, I would do some highlights. Like I would love some strips of different, like a strips of brown of that espresso brown through the black. I think that would be dope. Even if the espresso brown had like a hint of red, but red leaning on the brown side through the black, I think that would be dope fire i think that would be fire but whatever okay guys hugs and kisses thank you for watching don't forget to like share and most importantly subscribe so you can be entered to win weekend getaways weekend retreats with me on the beach and of course you know you're gonna be going with your guest it's for two and enjoying yourself guys i don't know i've been asked if i was gonna do a meet and greet i have never thought about it and i don't know i really don't know guys so yeah okay hugs and kisses i'll talk to you guys i'll see you on the next video bye where are you where are you where are you <laughs> speech on stop recording video